here with Jets tight end Tyler Conklin. But this is obviously maybe an emotional week for you going back to the place that drafted you. Just what are your emotions heading back to Minnesota this week? Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, it's definitely something that like me and my fiance and then one of my good friends lived with me uh, when I was in Minnesota. No, we learned to love Minnesota, right? I went from being a college uh, student to a young man and, you know, kind of finding my way in the NFL from a fifth round pick to a, to a starter. So, uh, you know, I had my first house there. And uh, yeah, we grew to love uh, Minnesota and the fans. So that definitely be uh, nostalgic and emotional, but I'm excited to go back. So let's just start with this in terms of the stadium itself, the noise level. How do you prepare for it? What are you telling your teammates and how noisy is it inside the bowl? Yeah, uh, U.S. Bank, it, it gets pretty loud in there. The, you know, they have a great fan base and, uh, you know, it'd be rocking in there, but, you know, it's just like any other away game. You know, you have different uh, cadences and, and ways to, to deal with the noise. So uh, we'll be prepared for it. But, yeah, they have a good fan base, and U.S. Bank will definitely be rocking. So this is going to be Mike White's first start this year on the road. As an offense, like, what's the recipe for success to help somebody like him out, knowing that noise is a factor? Yeah, you know, with Mike, he's not someone you really got to worry about, right? He, uh, you know, he prepares, you know, extremely well. Obviously, you see um, how he played last week, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll all follow his lead, right? He doesn't get too high, he doesn't get too low, and, uh, you know, he's just a, a really calm presence in that huddle and, and, and very prepared player, so I don't think we really got to do anything to help him. I think he'll help us. So from a running perspective, in terms of rushing offense, great game last week against the Chicago Bears, yourself, CJ Uzama. There's a clip that went viral of you two. I think CJ called you the Bash Brothers. What do you like about getting after it in the run game and how much can that help you this week especially? Yeah, anytime you can run the ball efficiently, I think it, uh, it makes throwing the ball a lot easier. We saw that on Sunday. And, uh, you know, I think me and CJ uh, do just a good job of trying to embrace whatever, you know, we have to do on, you know, a certain player or a certain game because every game is different for us. Uh, sometimes you get a chance to, to get the ball in your hands and sometimes you got to, you know, get in there and, and be gritty. And, you know, Sunday was a good one. It was rainy. It was kind of, you know, nasty out there, a little cold. And I think as a team and as a unit, we just kind of embraced it. We all, you know, had a lot of fun out there. I think you could see everybody celebrating and, uh, you know, being happy for each other and getting fired up about, you know, whether it's a seven-yard run or a 40-yard touchdown to, you know, Garrett or whatever it was. I just think, you know, we had a lot of juice and, and had fun out there together. For you as a receiver, just when you take a look at a broad picture for yourself, your first year in this system, you obviously said or had expressed that you like the system. What have you thought about the way that you've played so far this year and what do you hope to accomplish over the final stretch here? Yeah, uh, you know, I definitely love this system. I think it's great for, you know, the tight ends. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy with, you know, some things I've done and I'm also frustrated with some things I've done, right? Uh, there's good games and bad games, but, uh, you know, I'm excited to just keep stacking good ones and go and finish the season strong and, um, you know, kind of the way I wanted to, to finish it. I think I can do that.